Boys, what's up, man? I hope you guys are having a great Christmas, great holiday season, man. I've taken about four to five days off Madden. It's been great, refreshing, hanging out with my family, my two-year-old son. Christmas has been great. I appreciate all you guys reaching out and wishing that. I hope the same for you guys. But let's get back into these tournament games. If you guys like these formats, these videos, hit the comments. Let me know. Hit the like button. We're closing on that big 40K subscribers. Under 1,000 subscribers left to hit that 40K. Let's take a look at this game now. I'm in like round five of losers. Keep winning, keep winning, keep winning. That's what we got to keep doing. Keep making a run. I'm playing a guy that I beat. I actually play a lot on the ladders or on the ladders, on leaderboards, everything. You know, and this goes back to, man, I wish we had weekend league more so I'd play these guys a little bit more. You know, weekend league for me is, is tough to not have weekend league around. But, you know, that is, we can't change that now. So he has Aaron Rodgers here. That's the one first thing we notice. And I told you guys I'll be using this X Factor to keep my boys lit up. Uh, the Caveman. Uh, I don't think it was a glitch. I think it's just a tactic, you know. So we got them guys lit up to start the game. I'm going to go ahead and just hide this face cam. So I feel like I blocked too much of the gameplay. And I'm not doing anything crazy right now. Just talking. But start the game. We play a good game. You want to see their lineup. See who they got going. Uh, the one thing about Mutt is that, you know, every lineup is pretty much the same. You're not really seeing too much different here in the lineups. But I will probably check uh, different abilities, see what your opponent's doing. And he's a, he's a gun tight guy, kind of the meta. I feel good on offense or defense against this. I know what I want to do. Um, I know what I want to do. And that's my man, Sean T, right there, I believe. No, Jeremy Chen. Sean T, we did not use Sean T because he cost money for pick artists. So, Sag, Sag. No Sean T this year. Money for pick artists is tough. This is a little bunch empty. Now, this is a little annoying. I'll tell you why this is annoying. I know that when I run spinner, I run spinner most of the time. Uh, I think it's the easiest defense to adjust out of. You know, so we got everybody matched up. We got my universal coverage is glowing because of the caveman. I have medium knockout. Medium knockout and deep knockout, I believe. Something like that at the time. There's this guy right here. The tight end or running back, but he's kind of in the running back position, right? But, or he's in the tight end position in bunch, but he's RB. So every time I go to man him up, I think he's the tight end, but he's RB. So it gets a little confusing in that aspect because that's the guy that's open. As you see, I got a little, well, we got some... I'll put a little vert hook out there, motion in with Monk. He blocks the blitz. That's cool. I mean, we could have got a pick six right there. He just snapped in the door to that guy. So we get a big third and 11 early. Feeling great, man. I mean, defense, when you're in this bunch empty, you have nobody to really block. So, you know, I feel like we're going to tee off as far as just getting pressure. And we see I got it. we got our universal coverage. just down, bumping, pressing. And somehow this guy gets just a rub route, I guess. It's the strong safety that has to guard him or the free safety. I'd be forgetting. But, yeah, Ty Law and just can't get through. I guess maybe I bumped him off. He can't get through all this. This is, I mean, this is real football. Got to get through all that traffic. And Ty Law does not get Art Monk. And Art Monk gets a big play. I mean, he's down to almost 50-yard play. That's tough. Now he's in field goal range. Way different. He's going to go back, back to tight. First down, I assume, maybe a run right here. But he goes with the play-action play. We're going to double team up top, and Ty Law gets whooped again. I mean, not really whooped, but he gave up a catch. I feel like that's getting whooped. If you give up a catch, that's getting whooped. Hard flat out there. Good job by Chin again. Third and three. So this fill-out drive. It's a fill-out drive. Three-man rush here. I like this call. He has nobody to throw to. Throws the ball away. He's going to go for this fourth down. He's gonna go for this right here. Now I'll tell you, I think I, I think I'll I'll shade down here, do something crazy, just to try to stop this fourth down right here. This is a big play in the game. If I can get the ball back, see we're blitzing five people, we're sending everybody we can. Worry about that drag that got hit earlier on Ty Law. Let's see if Art Monk comes back across the middle. That's what I'm looking for. You see, I'm sending everybody just straight zero covers. We get tons of pressure up the middle, and we get a pick with Jeremy Chin. Can we get out of there? Ooh. Almost out of there. You guys know if you're blitzing, man, take that first read away. And we we see Marcus Allen actually just gets a crazy release. I don't know how he got a release that clean. And just Atwood, Atwood is right there next to him. 
Some people talk about man coverage, man. I feel like it's it's not good. It's really the blitz that you send that's good. Uh, I don't know how Atwater just gets left in the dust here. He probably bumps into somebody. He just it's <laughs> just flat footed. But we covered that first read. Get the pick. Pick one first drive, man. That's always love. That's always great. When you get that, man, momentum. We're gonna we're gonna get up out of here. Here we go. So we got Marcus Allen glowing. We got a little dollar baseline. So against Bob Dollar Baseline, and I see Caveman. He has Caveman with inside stuff and just blows up that run. Now I gotta pay attention. I gotta look. If I double team the inside stuff, he won't do this. So my goal with dollar baseline is that I, I if they pinch the line, I feel like you can block the blitz a little bit. But if they spread the line like this, I feel like you have to run the ball. I feel like you just have to. And because his corners aren't coming inside to man up, I, I figure he's just running DB fire or zone. And a lot of times you can look at your opponent's abilities and realize what defense they're in here. As we get the ball off, we did not block that corner. It's I slide to the left. I believe I even ID him out here. Well, maybe not, but we get good pass protection on the running back side. I need these guys to pass this off better. That's going to be the theme of the whole game, the theme of blocking dollar baseline. This, can my left tackle, my left guard, pass this off properly? Now, I've also been told that if your tackle has an ability, that our tackles have edge protector or secure protector, then they're more inclined to hold their block and not pass off that defensive end is what they need to do. If they pass off that defensive end, then you'll be able to, whatchamacallit, you'll be able to, the uh, which, the left guard would be able to get the end, and then the tackle will pop out and get the corner. Here I have threat detector, so I know he's only blitzing one side. We're going to pop a little run right here and fight for the first. Nice. Now, I said dollar base aligned. Third and five, you're not going to stop the run. Uh, the reason I motion Mike Williams is because a lot of times the, this they get confused on who has to block this defensive end. Now, sometimes Mike Williams will try to block him, and Mike Williams on Reggie White is bad. So if I motion him out of the way, now the tackle knows, Joe Thomas knows, I, I have to get this defensive end. There's nobody else there to block him. I should have clean blocking here. Uh, you know, tackle one, head on a hat on a hat. This guy, Larry to get off and get Adrian Wilson. He's clearly going to be in some type of coverage, so his safeties will be dropping back. Well... Looks like this safety was manned up. When they when they attacked the box that fast, they were probably manned up on somebody rather than in a deep blue. And here we have uh, Larry Allen. His head is spinning right here. But we actually get a good stiff arm and a good animation. I was cool going for that because if I got to a fourth down, I would be able to I would run the ball, you know. Or a fourth and one, fourth and two. Definitely four down territory pretty much every time in Madden here. Now we're just flooding out the right side. He's just running his own for the most part. And we step up a little bit too far here, boys. That's the one thing. I It's hard to just step up a little bit here. But we got great pass protection. Just stay right there. Just just anchor it in right here. And you'll have RB deep over the top right here towards the sideline. He's manning up both his safeties. He's got this guy. Stepped up a little bit too far. We got a sack. The thing about that is, though, I didn't lose any yards, you know, so that's that's why I like to step up. You have to step up against this defense, and we're going to try to pop a run right here, and we're going to get absolutely nothing. Owen Trap gets two yards because of the X-Factor ability glowing. That's about it. Uh, the same thing. We'll go back here. We're just trying to beat a little bit of press here, and we're, we're bad. We get shedded. We step up. I'm trying to flood out the left side here. I mean, maybe I had Calvin Short here. Everybody's just manned up. It's just DB fire, two cloud zones. Everybody else is just manned up. Maybe I had this, but a cloud flat is here. I would have Y if I had a little bit more time. But I step up. I get beautiful blocks on Dion, but the caveman just gets me here. He just sheds. Faster quarterback. Obviously, I could have scrambled for a big play with a faster quarterback. But I don't I have Elway. And the caveman just blurs Jason Kelsey, you know. I mean, low key. If we if we get this if we get this block here, we're gonna have Moss one on one with Atwater. You know, we're gonna have this. We're gonna have this over here. We're gonna have this, and we're gonna have a scramble. But we just get shedded to hell. I mean, Kelsey just gets popped. Fourth and six. Got to go for it. We're gonna audible a bunch here. The beautiful thing about threat detector is we see there's only one person blitzing here. 
I like this because I can look as you can see I'm flooding out the zone on the right with the corner route. Good job by him blitzing at the last second. Let's see if I see see that's one thing about threat detector, man. You let somebody lure get in here, then you blitz after they see you're not blitzing and you get this big play over the middle. Trail route, one of the best routes in Madden this year, man. If you guys are struggling being man coverage, that trail right to your that trail route to your tight end is actually huge. There I actually double team the uh the inside stuff we get a good block probably the best run of the day as so we pick up a cool five i'm always down with a cool five as we go up top right here oh that could have been bad i don't know if this was man coverage i think it, i think he manned him up or it was a yellow zone look where he's yeah, it might just been cover three went up top try to get an egg third and five here we're attacking the right side of the field we're, we're streaking we got casper on a corner rod just took out I just took out Waller because he got hit in the air, and you don't want him to get, like, fatigue glitch, so I took him out. We got a five-man blitz, same thing. We're going to flood. We're going to look right to left here. Nice job getting the ball out. Mike Williams underneath. First down. This is a methodical drive. Underneath Marcus Allen. Pick up a couple yards. Four for five, 56 yards. I'm not hitting any of those big plays that I want. Once again, caveman. Now, now I don't know if they changed this, but I tell you, inside stuff used to work on inside zones, not 0-1 traps, not bases. And this goes back to me not running the ball enough. So I don't double team here, and caveman literally blows up that run by himself. So here we go, third and six. This is a tough spot to pass right here. When I'm motion out Moss, we're looking. What we're looking Waller, we're looking Mike Williams, we're looking running back wheel route. I actually called a timeout. Tough. Now, I, if I waste the timeout, man, I got to make this worth it here. I mean, every time you get down here in the goal line, it's always pretty much the same thing. You got one guy going right, one guy going left behind them. Then you got your running back wheel route, and you got a flat, a flat route here to take all the purples and flats all the way to the side. So you have this little spot right here you could hit your running back. It's been like that for a couple years now. I actually have Moss here, which is never the read. He's just a guy to run off zones. But Moss could almost get get this first down. But you never really make that read. You just start looking in the middle and where the you think there's going to be some type of flat zone out here. But once again, well, I actually did hit Moss. I'm actually I'm actually a lord. I mean, just not being able to block this corner. We're slide left, slide left, slide left. Again, not being able to block this corner. It's tough. So we get the ball to Moss. We have a fourth and one for our lives here. We're glowing. We have Keith Byers. We use the X Factor. He has absolute glowing power inside whatever it's called. What's it called? Inside freight train. But one of the downsides of this is I think I actually might have to use another timeout here. First drive of the game. Really, look how fast this game gone. We're closing in the end of the first half. We've both had the ball twice or once. This is all we got. Dollar. Now, this is where, this is like, fourth and one, first drive of the game, and you're in dollar against I-form. Now, I feel like you got to run commit this. I'm glowing. I have the X-Factor to glow, a freight train. I feel like you just have to run commit this. So, I'm actually going to audible to a pass, and he does not run commit. He just rushes three. And we try to hit Waller, which one, I feel like this is a bad pass. I've, I play for a run commit here. This is bad, but we try to hit Waller right in, in here in this, this hole. Pause. But right when he gets by here, I want to I want to throw this ball right at the Eagle logo. And I for some reason, the ball goes here. Under pressure. Poor accuracy. I don't know how we get under pressure with Fearless. I don't know. Now, this is obviously a huge tight window. He's probably not going to catch it. He has short in. I don't know if this counts as short in anymore. Maybe once he gets past the numbers. Who knows? But I don't know how I get under pressure right there with my fear. I didn't even notice that I got that bad throw on fourth down. That was, that's tough. So we get no points there. Like I said, maybe I overthought it. Maybe we just run right in the dollar. But I feel like if they run commit, you're just like, you're going to just... It's just asking so much for the game, you know. Medium knockout. Oh, man. Come on, Night Train. I need you there. 
I need you getting medium knockout here. He's back in the gun empty bunch. We get good pressure right here. Nothing. Ball pops up. Nobody's there to catch the pick. Story of my life. I think I'm actually in 335 now because he's just audible around a lot. And Actually, I didn't know what I wanted to run against gun empty. So, universal coverage. We get a pick. What's in? Get your feet up. Get in. Get There we go. Beautiful. That's why we got those universal coverages out there. Oh, we get the ball back again. We're going to double team Howie Long so he can't shed, you see. And he just blows up that 0-1 trap. Real good 0-1 trap defense. So that's tough. So I can't really run inside zone. 0-1 trap's not doing much for me. I got to be able to block these corners. Once again, we're going to slide left, try to ID right. And it's doing a good job on the right side. The left side, we're just we're not getting too much. There, he has somehow breaks that up with Adrian Wilson, but... Tough. I mean, once again, <clears throat> I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to try to pop a run here because if I can through four down territory, let's pop a run. And them dudes just shedded my absolute hell. Like, they just had the run this year. I, You know, and maybe this is why this ability isn't good because I feel like I can run with the ball. And I feel like I have everybody hat, hat on a hat. Mike Williams, get up. Just get a piece of Adrian Wilson here. I got Jeff Saturday on LT. I got almost a double team on Howie Long. You know, I got two double teams. This guy blocks him. I can go this way. But, you know, I, I just see this guy about to get a piece of him. You know? Just get a piece. Boom. And we can get through there. But, you know, that that <laughs> that was a fairy tale. Uh, 45, 55, 62 yarder. I maybe should, could kick this. And maybe I should kick it. But, like I said, I ran the ball there thinking it's, you know, four down territory. So... I'm going to go for it here on fourth down. Well, we're going to get double slants pretty much here. We're going to get a whopping corner route, and we hit that. Beautiful. If we get pass protection, it's not hard. It's just zone for the most part. And that time we actually did. No, we didn't. I had to step up at the last second and let my right guard get this corner. It's just, it's just a nightmare how hard it is to get that, those corners blocked up. There we go. Nice run for the boys. Byers picking up 12 yards. Big run. Now we're going to use some time. Make this the last drive of... And Did I go ahead and get a holding penalty on the next one here? We're going to run the ball again, and we do indeed get a holding. Coach adjustments, blocking aggressive, probably for that fourth down play. Forgot to, forgot to put that on, take that off. So that's an old fat mistake. And that gets us to a first and 20 here. That could have been first and going to five. So we're first and 20. We have two timeouts, 40 seconds left. Everything is still an option. Every time I do this, I just try to list deep blue. will run off all the deep blue zones. Corner route will be open unless there's like a 30-yard cloud here, which there could be. Flat, guard it. If there's a 30-yard cloud, your flat's going to be open or your drag's going to be open. And then you have the backside post. Just a left to right read. That's all it is. Looking at the corner route. Going to have the corner route. I mean, the corner route is going to be a touchdown here over this cloud, I believe. But we get uh, just wide open. He's just wide open, but we just break down. We just cannot block this this blitz right here. My running back. It's not even the, the blitz. I mean, we get it blocked up. It's Howie Long. Just killing, just killing me through the... Like, he literally shedded everybody right there. Oh my goodness, how long the caveman actually actually killed me this game watching this back. Yeah, this is pretty much the same thing. We're looking corner route, we're looking post route. We get protection here and how long gets me again. It's just it's just you have to do so much in the pocket to get away from this corner. We're sliding left and they don't block that guy and have to step up. We slide left every time they don't block that guy. And then I got to step up so my running back blocks him. Once again, we're going to have A. A high ball up. Caught Y high ball. Tuck, tweet. I mean, these are two first downs. But we step up too far and how long gets me again. This time I just run the ball. This is completely just conceding. Take, making him use his last time out here. Uh, it's third and 25. You're not going to get that for the most part. But we'll take our three. We had two drives. We got stopped on fourth and goal on the one, and then we get the three-pointer. So, tough. I'm having a little trouble with this blitz. I mean, baseline dollar has been good for years here. Here we go. We get a little play action. A lot of pressure. He goes up top, but just Deion Sanders with that universal coverage is all over it. 
He audibles back to that. I'm sure I put a deep blue in the middle here. I'm not really. Pick. If I could get one of these to pop up for a pick. I mean, we're hitting the hell out of the quarterback. Give me one of these to pop up for a pick, and, and we're, in, we're in good shape here. Seven seconds left. I'm still in cover zero. Might be questionable to be in the cover zero right here, but I like it. We get no pressure. He goes for a game over. That's cool. Just tackle half over. We get the ball. We try to run the ball. Try just a little bit. This is the other thing that he did a good job of. When he pinched the line, I get good blocking on a three-down lineman, but he just scrapes with Sean Taylor over here. Yeah, see, look, just scrapes, and nobody can get to Sean Taylor. If he, if somebody would get to Sean Taylor, we that could be a big, that could be a big run. But we're cool. We're still glowing with buyers. He's going to break tackles. That's why we have the ability freight train. That's why we're going with it. Right here, we're looking for Waller. He's got a great cut. I mean, look at the. I don't know what Waller ran right here and why he ran so terribly. He's manned up, but I need you to get out of there. Like, look at Waller. Look at him. He's got short in, and he's got Adrian Wilson on him, who's a, a hitting safety. Now, you say he's not going to be open. It's of course he's not going to be open, but it's, look at my separation now because he's going so slow. Like, and then the other guy's on the drag. Is that. What are we doing here? Like, the spacing of this is just so miserable. Mike Williams is eight yards up the ball, off the line. Like, all, everything about this is just the worst. And my damn, and the same corner is just running around, running around everybody on my team. I got to stop sliding left. Obviously, it's not going to work. You know, Joe Thomas just... It's just a bad play. I didn't expect my routes to be that close. We get to a third and 15 right here. Slide left, nothing, and the ball gets knocked out. This slide left just isn't working. It's just tough. One thing I used to do is slide towards the running back and let the running back go the other way and block the other corner. Let's see if we get good, good punt coverage. Uh, we're just having a nightmare blocking right now. We're having a nightmare blocking. Doing what we can. Getting rid of the ball when we can. When my people run the right routes. I don't know if we're wasting plays running the ball. But we're certainly. That should be knocked out. But he does a good job catching the ball. Getting away from my deep knockouts. Or my universals. And he does a good job getting in the field goal range right there. That's, that's what I mean about avoiding those knockouts. I know you guys hate knockouts. Everybody hates knockouts. But another one popped up in the air like we could get so many picks if someone else would just get to the ball give me something lucky here that's like about the fourth or fifth time he's passed and the ball's popped up but if you're running these knockouts you got to do a good job of coming back to the ball when when you dole to the receiver so you can come back to the ball and get further away from the knockouts like you did on that big post route there you go he's in he's in the scoring ter ter territory for sure uh, like I said, he's been blocking that guy, so I put his man in his zone. Oh, I don't put him in his zone right there. That could have been a pick. I don't know what. I mean, he was throwing right at who I, we were guarding. There was three people on Waller here. You know, so for that to have for him to throw three people at Waller, tough, tough, tough. I think this was the same play. Oh, no, we got another, another pop-up right there. Could have been there. Eight for 18. About five of them have popped up. Shotgun tight. He's been quick snapping every time he goes to this. Audible, he's going to motion block here. We cover everything, and we he gets away from the knockout again, and Night Train cannot. Night Train cannot guard this corner route to Waller. You got him. You got medium knockout. Good click on. Come back, get the ball, and Night Train is just lost in the sauce. And we give up a touchdown, so now we're losing a game that we've got two picks. We haven't turned the ball over. We haven't made a bad decision with the football. Once again, we are sliding left, trying to block Deion Sanders on the left here. Maybe I should have just started out. Oh, we got a good block here, but there's Howie Long. There's that man Howie tearing up the inside of my offensive line. I mean, Caveman absolutely went crazy for this guy. Right over Larry Allen, right flooded. Jason Kelsey's doing a better job of blocking me than he is of helping. 
So tough. But we didn't lose any yards on the sack. That's always good. Harry gets super screen like a super screamer. I don't know what the hell happened this play. We didn't slide anywhere. Yeah, we didn't slide anywhere on that play. We get screamed at that play. Third down. We're still sliding left. We're going to ID to the left here. Because we know he's not blitzing left. He's not blitzing the right corner. So we're I no, then somehow my ID pops back up on that guy. Tough. And we throw to a guy that's blanketed. Oh, we get out of there, though. Good job, Calvin. Good stick right there with a spam A. That dude wasn't covered. So I'm like, all right, let's run the ball here. We're not having a good job blocking this guy's blitz. Howie Long sheds and tackles the freight train guy. <laughs> Deion Sanders sacks me again. That time we blocked nobody. Fight. Nice. Little short pass here. I'm not. Listen, I'm, I've gone to slide to the left. That's what I started doing now. Slide towards the running back. We switched it all up. I think I should do this most of the time. Fourth quarter, boys. Uh, we've had the ball three times. We have three points. That's, that's not going to get it done. Now we're going to motion to a little trips here. Just run the ball. Get the ball to Byers. Really just pound the ball down here. Good stick right there. Just being patient. And we get a big broken tackle. And Byers is, is, is doing it for us. Byers is doing it for us right now, boys. He's getting it done. We're going to bring in Marcus Allen here. Double team the inside or the inside stuff. Let's get some good blocks here on the right side. We can get a big run here. We get some good blocks. And no, Adrian Wilson just gets right off the block here. <laughs> if you watch, I believe it's Waller or it's Williams would block Adrian Wilson here. And just like, I mean, it's my wide receiver. I, I don't, I'm not mad at stuff like that. Especially versus Adrian Wilson or Cam Chancellor type. They should shed like that every time. Now we're going to send off five here, dump it off to the running back, pick up a cup. I mean, this is like prime Tom Brady Patriots offense right now. I haven't looked past 10 yards in the last couple pass plays just because of how much pressure we're under. Another quick snap here. Great catch by Mike Williams. Good read. The thing is, when you don't block a running back, I'm looking running back to the right here. He has it covered up really well. And actually, running back bumps into the blitzer. He covers this little whip route. I just have to go to the next level. Just high ball, almost rocket catch it in there. First down. This is this is textbook right here, boys. We are milking clock. We are using time. we got to score a touchdown here. That's what's important. We're going to go for a quick snap. Verts here. Hit the running back. Marcus Allen get a big gain inside the five. Time is running. One run play will get this to the two-minute warning. Here we go. We will go back to the same look. Is he going to run commit? We're back to the same look as the first half. We're just going to run the ball in. Man, I wish I ran that the first time. That we got a couple yards there for sure. This is going to take it to the two-minute warning. Big boy ball here. We're going to get goal line package in here. We're going to get some goal line audible set. He's actually in goal line. So we'll see how this works out. And he just absolutely just shattered my life here, boys. Uh <laughs> Alan Fanica on the left, I believe. No, it was Joe Thomas. Joe Thomas, if you b get this down block a little bit, I will run by Reggie White and we will walk into the end zone. But Joe Thomas gets absolutely shedded. Third and goal. Back in the tight. Same thing I've been doing. Same thing from the first half. Big play. Big play, actually. Just a great read and actually a great free form pass. We don't talk about it a lot. He does a good job taking away B this time. Manned up, manned up the running back. It's going to come down to wire A. That's what's going to come down to. He pulls off on, on A. It would be an easy high ball if he doesn't guard it. Then I have this guy. Now, if you go to Y, he'll run into this flat zone over here, or these guys. But I actually free form it back into the left. Almost make him stop and catch the ball. Beautiful free form. Quick read. I went right to left. That's what I look at every time. We go Moss, running back, no. Back in the middle, A, no. Boom, back to Y, boom. Probably my fourth read on the play. We catch the touchdown. Huge. Huge execution. I believe. I don't know when that drive started, but that's where we took off. Like eight minutes right there, boys. Easy eight minutes. He's in the gun in the empty bunch here. 
All we need is one of these pop-up passes, and we'll catch a pick. That's what I feel like. We'll feel good. And we get... Oh, we get the pick. Jeremy Chin over the middle. Get, this, get in the end zone, and we get tackled. Big play. Listen, he's been motion blocking this guy. So what I did was he leave nobody on him. I just have a purple over here for corner routes. I have... And then I got the middle of the field. If this guy blocks, I'll go lurk. If not, I'll guard him. That's pretty much my responsibility. I see him go out on a, on a, on a uh, trail route, and I just jump it. Cover it. Jeremy Chin picked off. We get the ball up by three. I feel like we've been in this situation every single time. We've been in these situations. Um, just got to run the clock. One first down, we'll win this game. One first down, we'll win this game. We'll go to verticals here. First down, I told you guys about this a million times. First down, second down, the easiest time to pass. So you don't want to wait to third and ten. We're going to go here. It's possible run commit situation. Pay attention for the run commit. Uh, he's definitely going to be blitzing. Audible to bunch. And we're going to get this right here. And this is an easy first down. This is a great read. Easy first down. Uh, Byers might even fight. Run over a safety. Run over a corner. He's Keith Byers. He's six foot four. And the ball bounces off his back. That's an easy completion. Clock running at least five, six yards. He's going to use a timeout. But the ball bounces off his back. And that's tough. Saves him a timeout. We get no yards. Uh, now I feel like we got it. We now I feel like we got to run the ball. We got to get some of those timeouts. Uh, good job, just scraping right there. He's going to use a timeout. We only get one yard on a run. Third and nine. We're not going to be able to take all his timeouts, but right here you don't want to. Throw an incomplete pass. You don't want to throw the ball away. You want to be safe here. Uh, we're going to be looking for corner out the wall, or we definitely are. Same thing pretty much all day. And we get no pass protection, and Caveman sheds me again. We take a sack. Tough series of downs right there. <clears throat> just not being able to block this corner has just killed me this game. I don't think the coverage is really good, but, you know, when I just can't block this corner off the left, I, I used to believe in, I'm telling you, slide towards the running back, let the running back go all the way across the quarterback and kick out the uh, the the corner on the opposite side of the formation. That was always been my best bet, and I really didn't go to that, but but for a few times this game. But we're up by, we're up by six. We have six. We have, he has one timeout. I don't even know if I, I would say I'm playing great defense. I would say that, you know, I feel good about my defense right here. Uh, once again, beautiful defense. We get the knockout from the universal. He did a good job getting coverage. He's nine for 21. He has three interceptions. I'm, I feel very confident about my defense right now. We only have, you know, 13 points, but it's, so it's putting us in a position to be in a tough spot right here. He goes play action here, and we get a – I mean, we just – I want one of those guys to catch one of those pop-up passes. Nine for 22, I want one of those guys to catch up a pop-up pass right there. And and we'll be – the game will be over. How many times has the ball popped up? We don't get catches. Third and ten right here. Our defense has been great. I got the run back. He hits Waller and absolutely puts the Jets on night train lane with Darren Waller. I mean – and he runs along the sideline here, and or around the goal line. And he's going to actually fall down and score, which is good, I guess. But, I mean, absolutely whoops. Wall I mean, all day we've been covering these, and he just gets absolutely perfect timing, perfect throw, and I can't catch him. I don't know how fast Waller is, but he just jetted on me. So now I'm down. Now I'm losing. One good throw. Two good corner routes to Waller or is just two touchdowns. Um, I just need a field goal, though, so I feel good. Uh, I'm going to go to <clears throat> the the most foolproof way I know to block this this blitz. Let's run a little play action, I think. You know, so we're going to do the same type of thing. It's, it's really just flooded out. And all the pop-up passes that he's gotten, all the throwaways that he's gotten, one 
This time, Alan Fanica, dude, step up in your A gap here. Marcus Allen, some all we gotta do is block Dion. We have beautiful pass, like beautiful protection. Dion just hugs this guy like a loop blitz, and nobody blocks him. We're gonna have Y for forty yards. We're gonna have B on a high ball, but Y, look how open Y is gonna be here, right along the sideline, like, and nobody blocks Dion. And instead of getting a popped up incomplete pass, we get a fumble that he recovers. Absolutely tough, but <laughs> absolutely tough. But we got a chance. All we got to do is hold him here, use our timeouts. You know, we're doing a good job. He runs again. So we got a chance. He's going to kick a field goal. We're going to be down by <laughs> We're going to be down by 4 now. We're going to need a touchdown. Tough. 20 28 seconds, no timeouts. I have done more with less, boys. I really have. I don't know if I'm going to trust that play action again. I don't know what I'm going to do here. Everybody's backed up. Which might just try to moss down the sideline here. Beautiful block pass protection here. We're going to go corner route. Run here. Get out of bounds. No, of course I don't get out of bounds. We got to spike the ball. Tough. Nine seconds left. That was good. That was good play action. Beautiful pass protection. I, I mean, in my experience of playing Madden, play action does a great job against this. It really does, but, you know, it didn't work out that way on that play when I fumbled. So, on a double corner routes, pass protection again is through the, through the roof. We get a big catch by Randy Moss, so we're in territory. We're in Chuckett territory. We really are. We're definitely in Chuck and territory. We gave ourselves a chance here. We're going with the same thing. <laughs> Got two streaks, pretty much. He blitzes everybody. I just go for an egg, knocks out nothing. I thought I'd be. I, I don't know what the hell I thought here. I just saw him blitz absolutely everybody. Maybe I should have tap lobbed it. We actually get decent pass protection too. I was hoping I could egg him and run by him or something, but. He blitzed everybody guard to the side. Maybe I should have lobbed it up in the air. Maybe a shorter quick pass. And we just get the ball knocked out. GG's. So, that was the end of the game. That was the end of the tournament. We're done. Why are we done? Get up two pass plays. We didn't get any pop-up picks. We got the ball bounce off Keith Byers' face when we could have ran the clock out. We, but at the end of the day, we kicked way too many field goals. We went for a fourth down early. Didn't get it inside the five. We kicked three field goals. That's not going to get it done. Or two field goals on offense. Not going to get it done. We only scored one touchdown. We needed, When we needed a touchdown, we scored it. Then we got the unfortunate play action. The dude runs through the whole line. Hits my quarterback when I throw. The ball pops up, and it's a fumble. Tough. That's the guy I beat 100 out of 100 times, but not this time, man. So the tournament's cooked. Lost to two players that we should win. We got to play better on offense. We got to score touchdowns. We got to get it done. We got to be better. That's all. I mean, the game's only going to cheat you if you give it an opportunity. If I score touchdowns that game, it's over by halftime. But we didn't. He did a good job coming up with some clutch plays. That DB fire gave me hell. I like. I think I go back to my slide towards the running back. Let the running back go get the corner on the other side. Definitely, definitely sliding towards away from the running back is just simply not it. Not for me. Maybe for you guys. Play action normally is really good against DB Fire, but it sold me on that one play. So, game's inconsistent. That's this year. The game is the most inconsistent it's been. It's not bad, but. It's definitely inconsistent compared to other years. But I appreciate you guys liking these videos. Try to give you a little thought of what I'm thinking and what I'm doing. If you like these styles, like I said, please let me know. The push to 40K continues.